Hey everybody, it's me, I'm back, it's the real Samuel Stubbs, and today we are going to be doing season two, or excuse me, second race here in uh, the season mode on NASCAR Thunder 2002 for the PlayStation 2 is Dale Earnhardt Jr. Today we're going to North Carolina Speedway, The Rock, in Rockingham, North Carolina for the Subway 400, second race of the season. I hope you enjoy, and let me get you folks set up here. This is taking so long, guys. Okay, that looks good. Let's check one more time. So sorry about this, folks. There we go. We are good. All right, qualifying here at the Rock. So I am doing a career mode in this game. I'm not going to be uh, posting that. It would be very dismal. Um, also, I'm in the middle of the season. There wouldn't be too much point in that. But here in the season mode. Here I'm qualifying for the Subway 400 at Rockingham. About a month or two ago I watched the uh, last ever race at Rockingham in the Cup Series. Uh, the uh, photo finish between Casey Kane and Matt Kenseth, you see in 20th year and I hit the wall. But uh, that was a great race. Um, it was very cool. A lot of good moments in that race. Tight race, you know, tires and all that, the flip by Carl Long down the back stretch. Testament to NASCAR safety. And where did I qualify? Okay, 20th. Basically smack dab in the middle of the field. But I just realized uh, how good of a race that was. Never really uh, watched that as far as highlights, but. And yes, we are going to watch the starting line today. Who are new here? It's wide and fast in most places, but in the corners, they'll have to slow up more than they expect. Otherwise, the wall will sneak up and bite them on the exit, especially in turn two. Kevin Harvick accomplished an incredible feat in 2001. He won the Bush Series championship while competing full time on the Winston Cup circuit. To race all those miles and be as good as he was is simply amazing. I'm sure the extra track time helped him, but you just get tired racing like that every weekend. Terry Labonte has been called the Iceman because of his cool demeanor under pressure. But maybe the nickname Iron Man is more appropriate. You know, that's right. Labonte set a record for consecutive race starts with 655. That's over 20 years without missing a race. Starting grid. We're at uh, 
rocking hand. Starting line. I start 20. So it looks like Bobby Levine needs the points. Guess he won the Daytona 500. Or maybe finish second and love to use last. That's us in 20th in the yellow. So you have qualifying time and speed in miles an hour. Let me know for future episodes if I need to turn the volume up or down. Here we go. We're ready. The green flag is in the air. 39 laps here at the Rock. We've got the spot so far in this race. Not too bad. Not too shabby. I am going to be using the apron. I plan on using it. And uh, I believe we have unlimited fuel on tires, so we shouldn't need to worry about those at all. Um, we just had one caution at Daytona, so maybe we can get a long green flag race. I'm running pretty clean so far. I gained two spots. I have hit somebody. Mark Martin. Break, I'm sorry, Mark. You can't really break too well in this game. Really, you can't break soon enough. I mean, I mean look, I'm just going to hit. I don't want to be hit by those people. I don't want to get this much damage either, because you, know, you get a certain amount of damage and the car just quits on you. So you have to crash your car. So. It doesn't really break for you all that well. Sorry, Bill. Sean Robertson gaining some spots, it looks like. 
mean, it'll break for you, but not well. Yeah, just hit the wall. I'm smoking, and oh, I'm sorry, Mike. I'm just gonna try not to hit people as much. Oh, I would be right there because I'm trying not to hit him. So I don't want to. I mean, like I want to get close. I just don't want to hit anybody, especially not Mike Martin. I'm going to make sure real quick you can see the screen. Because if you can't... Okay, that's not going to work. Okay, there we go. You're good now. If you couldn't really see the screen that well, I am so sorry. I'm not going to restart the race. but uh, I'm sorry if you couldn't see that. Okay, so the 19th been one spot since the start. Car's not that great, honestly. I, I uh, probably need to loosen it up a little bit because I'm tight. I'm not staying where that line is telling me to, and I'm all over the place. I'm okay, though. I need a break earlier than I have been. Hey, Casey Atwood. Seems like Atwood's head toward the front. I feel like he started in the 30s. So if he's up to 20s, that's a good job. Oh boy, let's not. Oh my bad, Casey. I did not know you were there. Caution, of course. And that's really my bad. So I'll give it the spot I want to restart on the inside. No, Tony. Looks like everybody's okay. Alright. That was definitely my fault. I apologize. Oh, Casey Atwood flipping over. Oh boy, I hope he's okay. I just kind of dumped him right there, and then someone hits him. Maybe Shauna Robinson? I'm not going to hit it. Alright, going to stay where I am. Not a surprise. Try to pull out. Well, I guess there's single file restarts, so being inside or out doesn't really matter on the restarts. You know, even or odd number. Does not matter. And crap. I slipped up a little bit. Right, you tap square. Okay, Gale, you're kind of holding this up. Is that even the right? That's the 19. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be happy either. Two taps on the brake, don't try to get on the oh, I'm wiggling in the corners. That's just because I'm not used to steering on this game. Mainly. That's what it is. Alright, I got it now. I'm moving, I've moved up four spots since that restart. Oh, I'm sorry, Jimmy. I bet taps were well enough. Could I get on the outside of Rusty? You know, me and him battled a lot last week for that tent spot, and then Shauna came along, and I still feel somewhat guilty for, um, dang it, sorry, Rusty, for beating and banging the third of the line. Not just because she's female, but that, that wouldn't have been fair to anybody to, you know? Alright, can I get into the top ten right here? I'm sorry, Matt. I'm not trying to hit you. Alright, Knight. Cool. 
and we'll be halfway in two left, three laps. Oh, he went all the way on the apron. Jeff Green really driving this machine. Hey, that line. Oh, okay, Jeff Green almost turned me. That was kind of my fault, though. Green made you on my outside. I'm sorry, maybe my car is tight. It's just going up. Yeah, I accidentally put on a limited fuel on tires. But that means we could have some longer green flag runs, just pure, you know, racing, you know. Pit strategy not deciding that kind of things. I'm up to seventh. My car's working, man. If you got a good Budweiser Chevy. Oh boy, I went high there. JG's under me. Don't come down. Oh, uh, well, we cleared. I'm cool. Crap. Oh, Tony, I'm sorry. Well, lost the spot right there. Now Biffle's under me. Uh, okay, you know what? That kind of works. Oh, I'm sorry. The raw fuel burns. I don't know why it's 39 laps instead of 40. Alright, only 4 seconds. That's not bad. Running in 7th currently. Not a bad day. Greg Biffle behind me. And about four seconds from the leader. We're on lap 21 of 39. So if it gets under me, my bad. You make a move spots. Did not mean to do that. Yeah. Okay, so a tenth of Daytona, trying to get another top ten year to day. I don't want to win every, I mean, I do want to win every race, but as long as I'm consistent, you know, you don't got to win every race. You can get top fives and top tens and, you know, obviously no stage points like there is now. But you can still earn a healthy amount of points by finishing, you know, top 15. The leaders came about second on me recently. Let's get off the wall. And maybe he's not that good. Okay. I'm still very tight. My braking strategy is kind of working, but it's not working great. I like North Wilkesboro, or excuse me, Rockingham, though. I wish they would bring it back. I know North Wilkesboro is in disrepair, but uh, they've won some races in Rockingham, you know, truck races. I think you could fix it up pretty nice. Hey, with a large amount of money. But see, you know, my idea, I have an idea, though, that I think would maybe help. See, with this coronavirus pandemic, you know, um, I'm just going to be talking to some friend here. But uh, with this coronavirus pandemic, NASCAR getting more fans, more attention from the sports world, from everybody, really, that just wants something to watch on TV. If we can get enough new fans, I'm thinking, man, hey, you know, you attract more fans, you attract fans from everywhere, you get more marketing. Put stands, grandstands, all the way around the track, and you're thinking, you know what, that'll make them look more empty. But if you get some good ticket sales going, you can make some serious money. And what else you can do is gain popularity, gain fans, gain interest, gain, you know, media attention. And you can grow your sport to be what it was in, like, 2005, when it was, you know, the, the most popular sport in America. When it was, you know, not second to the MLB or something, you know, there's only really one cool thing about it, and that's that the championship race, you know, usually, since it's on NBC on a Sunday afternoon, after it's usually Sunday night football, it's like, you know, NASCAR championship, Sunday night football, uh, like, probably the weekend, the week before Thanksgiving, not anymore, uh, oh my gosh, I am so sorry, Jeff Burton, but uh, if you can get stands all the way around the track, I mean, I feel like that would be awesome. And imagine if you fill them all up at, like, Talladega. I mean, you could probably get, like, 750,000 seats at Talladega. All those fans cheering for their favorite drivers, cheering, like, singing the national anthem, cheering as that, as that, you know, tractor trailer with the American flag. I'm so sorry, Mark Martin. Cheering as that tractor trailer with the American flag goes by, cheering for their drivers, cheering for... You know, the invocation, the, the uh, you know, cheering for everything. 
Also, another one of my ideas is before you recite the National Anthem, you should recite the Pledge of Allegiance first. And then, oh crap, I'm getting freight trains here. But, I mean, that's just an idea. Put grandstands all the way around the track. You, if, you know, you can attract enough media attention, you know, that'd be pretty cool. It really would be. That's just my thoughts. Anyway, 10 laps to go here in the Subway 400. Here at um, Rockingham. I'm in ninth. Finished 10th at Daytona. Finished 15th in the duel after qualifying 31st. It led me to start uh, 25th. I qualified 20th for this race. So, yeah. Not doing terrible. You know? So if you check out that video, please check out the Atlanta race video and the uh, Bristol race video along with my NASCAR Heat 4 videos, my other, all my other videos. I'll be posting more PlayStation 2, what Xbox One, NASCAR, probably some other games, probably some, you know, just fun stuff. And uh, the Stubbs Cup series obviously coming as soon as I can edit that. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. This this will be a fun channel devoted to NASCAR. Um, you know, once football and basketball get started back up, and baseball, you know, Braves, Razorbacks, Saints, uh, Thunder, um, and of course NASCAR. So yeah, and NASCAR video games too. Video games are probably gonna be a popular subject on my channel. But, uh, yeah, I think my car is starting to take, this damage is starting to take a little bit of a toll on it. Oh, Kurt Busch below me. Okay, Kurt Busch. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm hitting everybody, man. I don't want to be, but I am. Sorry, maybe. All right, in ninth. Can I get to eighth? And can I hold off these cats? Because they're charging hard. This has been a great battle. Like with me and Rusty last week at Daytona. That's not good. Go, go, go. Gas it. Nobody else below me. Okay. Dang it. Back content. Kurt Busch's car seems to be coming to him more and more as this race goes on. Dang, I don't want to be running up there. Here comes Nadu. I'm sorry, Nadu. Okay, Where'd he go? We're faster than the leader? How? Oh, I hit the wall right there. Watch me be about to finish 10th on the last lap. I hit the wall and then it says, you've crashed your car. Oh, you so said, Oh, I'm so sorry, Nadu. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Alright, calm down. I just want to protect the top 10. Looks like her bus is driving away. His Ralph Spenway Racing teammate, though, is right behind me. Okay, why did I... Uh, I brake too early and I brake too late at the same time. Might have to be sending it, or I might just have to take an 11th. I'm going with the option of sending it, though, if I can even get to him. Oh, grass a little bit. Two to go. Can I get to Matt Kenseth? Okay, well, I'm going to wreck myself doing it. Whoa, oh, Biffle, I'm so sorry. Lots of Roush cars up here. White flags in the air. Leader is taking the white. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get to Kenseth. I might have to settle for 11th. The 10th and 11th, so, I mean, I should finish 12th at Vegas, theoretically. That was a good lap. Alright, let's just stay in 11th. They're battling back there. Let's not, you know. Checkered flag. Somebody has taken that. I wonder if it's Dale Jarrett. Could find out by pausing that. I don't want to do that. Anyway, I'm going to finish 11th here at the Rock after qualifying 20th. Not guys. Let me check on you guys. Alright, looks good. Looks like you got most of the action. We usually have more cautions than that, don't we? Well, I'd say the fans would probably have liked to see more excitement. I'm sure the drivers, on the other hand, were happy about the low number of caution flags. 
This has been NASCAR Winston Cup Racing, brought to you by EA Sports and MRN. We'll see you next week in Las Vegas. All right, so let's go with the uh, official results. All right, so Dale Jarrett here picks up the win at the Rock. He wins 157,000 virtual dollars. Um, one caution flag for two laps, six lead changes. The race takes 19 minutes and 32 seconds. Average speed 121.77 miles an hour. Margin of victory 1.836 seconds. So Dale Jarrett gets the win. Sterling Marlin second, Bob Labonte third, Jeff Gordon fourth, Ryan Newman fifth, sixth is Ricky Rudd, seventh is Jeff Burton, eighth is Mark Martin, ninth is Kurt Busch, tenth is Matt Kenseth, the top ten you expect to see, and eleventh was me, uh, starting twentieth. Jimmy Johnson finishes twelfth, Jerry Nady thirteenth, fourteenth is Jeff Green, fifteenth is Rusty Wallace, sixteenth is Greg Biffle, Seventeenth is Tony Stewart. Eighteenth is Kevin Harvick. Nineteenth is Robbie Gordon. Twentieth is Johnny Benson. Twenty-first is Bill Elliott. Twenty-second is Terry Labonte. Twenty-third is Ricky Craven. Twenty-fourth Elliott Sadler. Twenty-fifth Jeremy Mayfield. Twenty-sixth John Andretti. Twenty-seventh Shauna Robinson. Twenty-eighth Michael Waltrip. Twenty-ninth Scott Wimmer. Rounding out the top thirty is Steve Hart. Thirty-first Kyle Petty. Thirty-second Ward Burton. Thirty-third Ken Trader. Thirty-fourth Paul Bodine. Thirty-fifth Jay McMurray. 36th Casey Kane, 37th Mike Skinner, 38th Bobby Hamilton, 39th Frank Kimmel, 40th Shane Hall, 41st Casey Atwood, 42nd Jeff Purvis, and 43rd is Jimmy Spencer. So that was the Subway 400 qualifying 20th, finishing 11th, finishes of 10th and 11th, two races into the year qualifying efforts. Of 31st, then with the duel finishing 15th in the Daytona duels, uh, starting 31st in the Daytona 500. So, uh, next race is Las Vegas. Yet. I will see you next time. Next race, UAW, Dane Worth Price for 400 at Las Vegas. I'm the real Samuel Stubbs. Thank you for watching. Tune in next time. Drop a like, subscribe, and comment. I'm the real Samuel Stubbs. God bless. Peace out.